Russia's harsh winter is bleak, and so is the future of these 300 Ukrainian refugees. The Kremlin is forcing them to pack their bags. Last autumn, new rules were imposed, meaning anyone who fled the war from Ukrainian-controlled territory must leave by February the 1st. Among them is Tetyana. She gave birth here only two months ago. She told a reporter from Radio Free Liberty she was happy when Russia accommodated them, but to end up on the street in winter is not good. When Russian troops began entering eastern Ukraine in April 2014, hundreds of thousands fled to the safety of Russia. But now these housing centres are weighing down the Russian budget, which is already strained by low oil prices and international sanctions. With the centre's closure, some of the Ukrainians don't have anywhere suitable to go. This lady says, they warned us on January the 3rd that the camp would close and we would have to leave. I don't know where we will go. It's winter. My home is still intact, but it has no windows. Sporadic gunfire echoes across the front line in Ukraine's industrial heartland. It's a far cry, though, from the most intense fighting seen during the summer of 2014. But it's the potential of an upsurge in fighting that scares some refugees. This lady says, we're waiting for the war to end. We're all preparing to return. I don't know what to do, though. You know, at home it seems to be quiet. There's no shooting. We wait a month and then begin getting ready to return. The Russian authorities say the most most vulnerable will be able to stay, such as pensioners and disabled people.